is up my people welcome back to the channel i'm your boy nasim the dream and we are back for your video for something i've been really thinking about doing for a while this is gonna be a segment where i'm just gonna be just jumping on some of these projects i've been listening to lately that i have been really really digging now these are of course projects that i haven't been able to mention on the channel i haven't been able to get a review or even like a short album review on them ep review whatever it might be this is the kind of stuff that's like i really want to recommend to you guys that i've checked out that i think is really really good that i haven't unfortunately had time to make into a full video on the channel unfortunately i would really like to make a lot more full videos about projects like these i'm going to mention but unfortunately i just don't really have so much of the time where um really productivity is just really pointing me in a direction to making shorts and some of the typical content that i'm already making because those are the quickest things now i like to occasionally make sure i come out with full videos of like full reviews and some other different videos that are more special unfortunately just because of where the channel is at at the moment i can't dedicate that much time to unfortunately because i need to give them other time to my real job that's actually bringing in the income so guys please subscribe and please like the video and support the channel to help me get to that point because this is something that i am really dying to fully invest myself into it's something that i think about all the time like it's just so like disheartening because of thinking about before i started the channel how many projects i was listening to a day how many projects i caught up to every single friday i caught up to pretty much every single record and project on that for you list if for any media platform and then at that point i went to go find the hidden gems and i was pretty much done within three days and now at this point i'm always behind and it, it's just it sucks and i really do want to play this stuff recommend it to you give me my thoughts as much as i can on every single piece of material but unfortunately because of time and just overall you know containing my health and just taking care of myself at the same time i can only do so much so guys please support the channel please subscribe and let's get into these projects all right guys so the first project that i want to recommend to you that i have been really loving is the minu mitsuki record the land is in hospital and so are we this is a japanese indie folk singer songwriter artist that who has just been super notorious i mean this is a name that in art pop that you can't really ignore a songwriter that you know if you're indulging into a lot of like the pop scene and indie and stuff like that with this, this this type of fashion you know mitski i mean she is a brilliant singer one of the best talents in our pop and in indie music today and yeah this is probably my 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 favorite piece from her yeah i i really really did adore this thing i found myself just to be continuously mesmerized song by song in here it's just so elegant and just so pure of heart to hear Mitski just get so down to earth melodically. It really does pierce the soul at a certain point. Now, it sounds just dramatic, but I'm telling you, this is just such a beautiful project that she put together. This is one that I just never really get sick of. This is one that I really just love to play in my spare time and especially just to get a moment of silence because there's just a lot of great things when it comes to this just the isolation of these instrumentals, the acoustics, the pianos, all the elegancy with the padding on here that it build up the atmospheres. There's so many things on here that I feel like just makes this such an exceptional record. Unfortunately, this is something that I feel like could be recognized by the Academy and I think should but probably won't but just because of the commercial fame that she does have i am hoping that this does get recognition so we'll see but definitely check this out for yourself and let me know what you think and then moving on to this ep that i discovered from maruja it is called naknari and it is this type of indie avant-garde math rock type of fuse really related to acts that i can really think of off the top of my head like black midi um oh and i also uh, heard someone compare it to the uh ash inspire band with uh i can't remember what that record that i checked out from uh that fantano reviewed last year but it was a fantastic record i think it has more relation to that album for sure but uh i love their style in here it's not as colorful as black midi's music would be but in terms of creativity and transitional points and elements that it includes with avant-garde and just all those like math rock materials uh oh and even yellow eyes is a really good inspiration i think more closer to yellow eyes if you're familiar with them uh i i feel it's a lot more relevant to compare yellow eyes than just because with their projects it has like this relevancy especially in the beginning of the ep where um you do have vocals in here you do kind of have like that math rock bringing you down and it's really intense in your face and then it breaks it into this very spacious 
type of pause moment where you're kind of just hovering in space and just collecting all the data around you, observing, just pure observation on here of just different instrumentals on here. And it really is just captivating. This is one of the things that just really left me just off of my seat. This is, of course, a sound that I've just been very fond of lately, but this is just something that I feel like it could be fucked up easily because it is a very complicated twist of noises and instrumentation on here and i think these guys really do pull it off so i'm glad that i found out about their existence because this is quite the band this is quite the influence that they are causing so you guys should definitely definitely check it out and be a part of the avant-garde scene moving on with some black metal that i've been checking out uh liturgy really really great experimental band uh and this one this album is called 93696 and it is a very long record it's about an hour and 20 minutes i believe and it's just a different take from liturgy because before we usually just get this like set notion progressional kind of state which you still get that progression into this a much more lengthy obviously but it felt like we're continuously getting darted in with more black metal a little bit more noise i would say on other records it felt a lot more eerie but for this one it felt more explorative it just felt like more open world to me something that just felt like in sequences would just really take its time really just have you take your time to digest what you just listen to and kind of just have you idle into the process of what's going on in the next progression that might not follow up with vocals might not not follow up with some of the the black metal the noise into there but something that just might give you just a moment to just kind of deflate because you could be in that cycle where it is just so much and you so much pressure built in so much tension and anxiety just flourished at you which is such a beautiful creation i think it's just displayed on here so well but i love the moments where it just kind of gives you a time to just have that intermission but at the same time you're observing really really nice synthetics on here really soothing melodics and chord progressions and it's just a very interesting delicate and a very difficult record to really just mostly observe because there's just so much on here there's a lot of detail to really think about on this record and especially with an artist like liturgy who experimentation could just be just so profound to the point where it's hardly explainable and i think this is one of those things where it is one of those but at the same time it's kind of like when you experience it and you converse with another individual who also indulges into the same style you kind of have a similar understanding. You can explain certain things in certain ways, especially with the best of your ability when it comes to just uh, linguistics and just uh, music in general, your knowledge of music and, and the whole fundamentalism of it. But I think overall, it's just that thing where you just get it. You kind of just get what you were went through because it's one of those things where you just you don't know what you went through, but it was just so pleasing. It was just, it left you feeling like you exited this certain, like, skeleton. It, like, you shed a skin, another layer. It's very odd, but I really, really did enjoy it. This is definitely not going to be for everybody. But if you're open-minded, and if you definitely like metal music, even if it's not black metal, if it's just stuff like that, do you like that hard-hitting stuff and want to just open your mind to new tunes? liturgy all right guys i gotta tell you about the next ep from one of my favorite bands of the year probably one of my favorite bands of this entire decade at the moment that's from geese and that is their ep from 4d which was technically a deluxe i mean it's just a collection of of songs that would have became a deluxe but it more so just formulated itself into an ep so it begins off with taking the self-titled for the newest ep 3d country taking that and converting it to 4d country which is basically the same song but this time it's extended but more so extended to this like inner loop like you kind of just like slipped out of time and you enter just this whole new vortex of a totally different reality and it's like you're not supposed to be there but the thing is like it's just such a wacky experience to really go through and i think it just really helps just feeling like you entered a new transition into the record because the songs that follow this are just absolutely phenomenal i i had zero complaints about any of the songs that follow my favorite is definitely jesse which is the single that was released for 40 country and it is just addictive it is a song that i constantly play when i want to be in my moods there's just something with the vocal ability from cameron winter that i am just 
dumbfounded from. I am in love with it. It's just like I can't get enough. I'm absolutely addicted to the man. The emotion, the like goofiness, just the humor into it, just the passion, just him flowing into this different style, into this different mood and the way he expresses it through his vocal talents and the way he explores and also takes confidence into his vocal range is just so impressive. What makes it even more astounding is the support that he's getting from his bandmates. You can tell that these guys just totally put everything they can into each of these songs. So the chemistry between even them is just totally even it totally flatlined with every single one of them there's not a single guy i was like doesn't stand out more or less than the other like it is just so unison and it's just such a beautiful thing something i just can't get enough of i'm already like such a huge fan of 3d country but this is just man you can't ask for more this is an amazing EP. Please check it out. All right, next for some punk, you definitely got to check out some of Snooper, Super Snooper. This is a very short, fun punk rock, uh, garage rock piece from Snooper that I feel like it's just, it's so easy to play. And it's also just, it's intense, it's fun, but it's also playful. It's quirky with its vocals. I heard Fantano make an analogy saying it's like, uh, I don't know if a lot of people would say this, but it's just like that same type of punk rock influence that you hear from like the Nardwar intro. And like you can't get any more perfect with that comparison because it is just, it is just that. But it's so much fun. It's it's it just goes. It's good. It punches. It feels like real thrashy punk rock experience. Like the whole, just like the scenery of it, the way you just get like that, those like uh the nostalgia from like the old days when it comes to just the uk punk scene it really does feel like that it makes you feel like you're listening to that vintage punk but at the same time it does feel more modern more fresh way more brand new a lot more poppy and a lot more bold with its production it's to the point it's fun it's not trying to push any agendas nor is like some like big heavy themes there's things that they, they talk about concept wise but they're not really it's not focused on that. It's just about just literally just pushing through. Go, go, go. Songs over. Go, 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 go. It does not stop for these 22 minutes. And it's fun. I love it. And then the next one I want to talk about is this recently released Anna Franco electro track, Michana de Gato Que Uso Soa. So the third part in her name is the ultimate description of this entire record. It is electric. It, it, it left me struck. I could not believe how much fun this was. This is like a funk pop fuse with some alternative into it that I just think I just can't get enough of this one. I really cannot get enough. I could not believe track after track how much punch it had, how much variance it had, how much it, longevity it really concluded, how badly I wanted to dig myself deep into this record once again, which I did. The courses, the structures of these songs, the arrangements, this is such a great record. Very little flaw to it. Nothing that I can really just completely remember. This is something, I'm not going to say it's a perfect record, but dude, it, it is just so much fun. And the potency behind all of this just, just constant excitement is just through the roof i i really do adore this record i think that a lot of people including you anyone that's whatever you're into could play any song from this record and be very impressed i i highly highly recommend you check this one i just think it's just it's such a feel good feel good album like it, it really is like the energy from it is just electric I know I've said that so many times too much on the nose I know but that's what it is so check it out all right guys I am going to conclude on this last project that I want you to check out it is the newest Sampha record Leahy now I know I said in this segment that this is mainly stuff and projects uh, of course that I really did love but stuff that I didn't really have the time to give a review of um, this is something that I'm going to have to work on. I am going to have to come out with a full review of this new sample record because it, it's too good. It's, it's damn near perfect. It is absolutely insane. This is how good it is. This album is literally fucking with my entire end of the year list. I shit you not. Like there's so many records, especially in the top 10 that I feel like are set, but I gotta make room for this guy. I, I I know it's a little bit of a spoiler, but not too much of a spoiler. But like I, I gotta figure out where to put this one because so far I I just played it last night 
and of course I am absolutely in love with the album the time this album had to cook and the anticipation that was really behind six years of waiting for a new sample record it gave me a blonde moment it gave me that same feeling necessarily how I feel about with waiting for a Frank Ocean project I'm not as much of a fan of Sampha as I am for Frank Ocean of course but it gave me that same feeling and just expectations like okay if you're gonna take this along and we know you're coming out with a record how good can it be? How good should it be? It kind of is one of those things. And this is why I always argue that waiting longer on a project is the best way to go. Give more time for something to marinate, for your ideas to really flourish, your influences to fully include into everything that you want to uh, like involve into every single one of these songs. Because I think Sampha just really knocked it out of the park with this one. I absolutely love it. If, if you're into R&B, if you're into pop, nothing on here is really just too obtuse like too alternative i would say there's gonna be things where i i think are pretty digestible but progression wise and then the arrangement i think is just really sets this thing off because it is an absolute marvel of a project i adore this thing um so yeah i cannot wait to make that full album review because th th we need to talk about a lot on this record and those are the projects that i highly recommend you check out immediately so be sure to let me know what you guys think of them in the comments thank you guys so much for watching please like and subscribe to help support the channel thank you guys so much for watching and i'm gonna catch you in the next one deuces Bye.